Welcome to our family sailing vlog aboard SV High Five. I had a great sleep last night. It's a little overcast and threatening rain today, but uh, it's time for a little boat tour. So, finally, we're gonna go around and go through pretty much everything that we can see here. All right, let's start, let's start outside, let's see. What do you think? Okie dokie, here we go. So, here we have our beautiful helm station. Two throttles, magnetic compass, chart plotter, great little seating area here for our captain and co-captain. Before I go inside, maybe I'll make the leap onto the dock just so you can get a more of a uh, perspective on the boat. There it is, high five. High five. Wait, yeah. So, uh, draft is two foot ten. Displacement is listed at 8,000 pounds. And beam is, I think, 18 foot three. So it's a nice and compact uh, island boat, just because there are so many places you, you can't get um, without having that shoal draft. So you can see my motor's pulled up over there. I think you can, anyway. Yeah, there we go. Underneath. Make sure you can see that. Anyway, you can see one of them. Oh, and uh, over here. There's uh, a little hot and cold freshwater shower right on the, the swim area. Okay, let's hop on board again then. And in we go. So this is kind of cool. Uh, here you have your nice sliding door. It seals really, really well. Um, it's got a lock in case you need it little toggle uh, to keep it if you're underway and it's rough and you know, it'll keep the door from sliding uh, away on you. And also fantastic feature it's a full-size uh, screen door which is sort of a spring-loaded thing so uh, it's just got a little simple magnet spring so that's a pretty cool feature if it's buggy. It's not today so leave that open. Uh, nice extra window beside the door. Um, okay. So, here we are. Um, we've got a couple of 12-volt uh, fans, stereo. Um, of course, this is your dining table. Pulls it down to quite a significant size. You can, you can basically seat eight around here, and, and uh, you know, if you had a lot of guests, a couple of people can stand at the end with their beverage or whatever they're going to do. So yeah, and that of course drops right down onto um, those little wooden pieces. Uh, it makes itself into a king size bed. If you have lots of guests, or if you're going on a long passage and you want to be able to be, you know, right by the cockpit in case you're need to run out, uh, you have the option. Moving on, right. Uh, oh, there's me. There's me with a camera. All right, so down in the starboard hull, you can see from up here, got all of your little bits and pieces, electrical panel and logistical stuff, uh, big storage spaces all over the place. You can see them, yes. There's room on this boat, incredible use of space. Uh, hatches all over the place for amazing ventilation as well. We've got two up there and a couple of skylights. Um, over here we've got our head with a little port light and a hatch. Uh, a separate shower, hot and cold shower there. The head. Uh, so there you go. Basic setup there. So here we have the starboard cabins, the starboard sleeping cabins, queen size. Bed, 
two uh, switchable LED lights. You can switch those on and off from there. Um, hatch right over the bed, which you pretty much always close when you leave so your bed doesn't end up soaking wet. Big long bookshelf. Uh, 12 volt fan, which is really handy. A uh, couple of little super towel racks in here. You can hang stuff off of. Uh, one of these little hatches. So there's a hook on the back of the door, which my hat is living on. Um, under here, we've got this large storage space. Uh, it was almost up to my knee if I were to stand in it. And it's got a, just an extra basket to separate stuff inside if you want to put dirty laundry or whatever you want in there. And uh, so this is a good size seat. And here, uh, it's a big standing locker. And just for scale, I mean, there's another compartment actually under the laptop. So if you need more space, and even under the three shelves, there's another area where I stuff some of my foul weather gear. But you can see from the size of the laptop case, I mean, that's not even up to the edge of the door. It's in the, yeah, they've got hooks or hanging things in there. So that's a big, big space. Okay, so back at it again. Here we go. Now, having a quick look around, this is where we were. Uh, so on the floor, you've got these great little, if I can get my finger out of it, there we go. This is where the uh, bilge is. Uh, there's a water alarm there in case you want to get deafened. Uh, it is, um, yeah, I mean, there's it's apparently almost always completely dry. So I just wear that. So that's also the end of the bilge pump, the end of that line. There's a manual pump in there. Okay, so that's the, I think that's all we need to look at on this starboard hull. Um, we'll go to, on our way, let's stop here and have a look at this. This is kind of a safety closet. So it's got um, um, a rescue line, uh, we've got the winches are in here, and plugs, uh, sail tape, uh, an air horn, another rescue line there, uh, first aid kit, some flares, you know, all of the safety stuff. Uh, this little vent down there is for the refrigerator compressor. <clears throat> okay, so here we are, the galley, uh, propane stove and, and oven with broiler, uh, double sink here, and of course lots and lots and lots of light. There's tons of light in here. Okay, uh, and, and uh, right, so, and down here, so again in this, in this uh, floor, the bilge, there's just tons and tons of space. So if I can get this one up. So, again, I've got, I've got some cans of ginger ale down there. Just for fun, I wanted to see if they would fit. And of course they do. Okay. Um, next is a large, large pantry area. So that's a very handy space. Um, and of course, so our fridge is here, so we're oriented and under the fridge, another pantry space, and some condensation from the fridge. Okay, so, uh, fridge itself, can fit quite a bit in here, again it's elbow deep, and I mean you can see a Tropicana juice thing fits no problem under that shelf, way, way, way back. And the other door closes, uh, even with this sort of can thing in that orientation. That's pretty cool. Uh, the freezer is definitely not very big, but you can stuff a few things in there. Uh, apparently ice is the priority item. <laughs> okay, uh, so that's the galley. Uh, little rack for spices or napkin towels, as our kids call them. Um, okay. So the port cabin is pretty much identical uh, to the starboard cabin. So the same little storage spots, uh, lights, the bookshelf, uh, it's a queen size also. Uh, poke your head up. See the world from the cabin. Uh, nice little switchable LED lights and stuff. The place. Yeah, so anyway, that's the interior. Uh, Almost done here, and we'll just quickly run into the aft cabin. So this is just a little cabin that 
And you know, the bed is actually big enough to, to stuff a couple on if you wanted to. Uh, they'd have to be a friendly couple or, or a couple of kids uh, if you want. And a big, a big uh, shelving unit here. It's, well, these are all, anyway, uh, big, big shelving unit. One, two, three, four, four cubbies and uh, the top of it. So, yeah, you know, I thought originally this was going to be a lot smaller than it was. But the little shelf here. Port light, <laughs> overhead light, of course. Big, big hatch uh, with one of those little solar fans on it. And yeah, this is uh, quite a big space. And the way it's set up right now, uh, there's also a nice spot in the floor there that we can put a whole bunch of stuff. All right, so venturing out. Let's see what we can see. So there's a whole bunch of cockpit cushions, like I said. So they can be put on here if you want. Uh, and. Uh, <clears throat> Anyway, great little seating spot right there. And a couple of stern lockers for storing your stuff. Uh, a nice dinghy hanging off the back of my davits. Brand new dinghy, which I'm very pleased with. Uh, cockpit center here. We've got, you know, the, the usual nav stuff. Uh, nothing terribly fancy, but all of it very good. Uh, let's see. So the uh, boat actually runs on. Twin Yamaha 9.9s, uh, which is pretty neat. A really great engine, super fuel efficient. Uh, I wasn't sure if I'd like the system at first, but it's great. You can you can use this cleat to pull them out of the water, and, uh, so you don't have any drag when you're sailing. Uh, this one is equipped with radar, which is also nice, and uh, a little sort of lifting derrick, I think. Um, so crane if you need to get heavy things on or off the boat. So yeah, lines and line handling stuff here, uh, and here. All the lines come right in here to the cockpit, so you've got, you've got uh, these three here, and those three there, and those three there, and that's it. So when the enclosure is up, that is inside the enclosure. You can see these little attachment points for the enclosure. So all the lines come inside that enclosure, which is really cool. And here you've got your house batteries. Uh, under my feet is the uh, fuel tank. It's gasoline, obviously, for those outboards. And three winches. So the two winches, uh, usually for the uh, jib sheets, and then that the multi-purpose winch in there. And uh, okay, up top, three Siemens solar panels. I think they're 45 watts each. I'm not totally sure. And yeah, you can see. Uh, oh, jump down. <laughs> see when you're in the, in the cockpit. In the cockpit seat, in the cockpit chair, you can see your sail trim quite well through those. Uh, anyway, so moving on. On the deck, uh, this is a great width for walking up here. Um, the spot down there, if the hatches are open, it's really hard to get through. Uh, it's a bit tight, and there's a shroud, of course, uh, sort of halfway up. Um, big sea down there into the, the galley and salon area. Uh, mast. The mast. It's nice. Twin uh, diamond uh, spreaders, radar reflectors, your instruments at the top, uh, furling jib, uh, main in a bunch. Just pretty normal for boats like this. Um, and of course, this is right on top of the two cabins. So it's got this interesting sloped area at the front, which you don't see as profile on, on a lot of cabs like this. Um, some fuel and supply lockers, of course, uh, so that's got extra fuel tanks in that one. This one's got extra water tanks, and of course your, your anchor chains. There's three anchors on this boat. Uh, so there's one, the one there and two others underneath. Uh, here we've got a little sea kayak on the trampoline. So that's our basic tour of our, our PDQ-36 called High Five. And uh, we're pretty excited to be the new owners. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them. Uh, I'll try to read some comments. And uh, answer them.